on behalf of the party and our national president, uh, Colonel Pion Tikundundua, our vice president, uh, Honorable Lenora Giregere Tambua, our secretary, uh, Ms. Saini Nambo, chair of our selection committee, Ms. Priscilla Singh, party stalwarts, and you all brave people. Thank you all for uh, coming this morning. My message today to the people of Fiji is very clear. Today, the 59-year-old 59 National Federation Party is taking a significant step towards reclaiming its rightful place at the middle, at the mantle of sound and sensible national leadership, as well as accountable, transparent, ethical, and good governance for our beloved nation. And ladies and gentlemen, this significant step is the announcement of 33 of the 55 proposed candidates to contest the 2022 general election under the National Federation Party banner. At the outset, I provide this unequivocal guarantee that when the final results of the elections are tabulated and released, the National Federation Party will be in government because this is our time. The outcome of the elections, ladies and gentlemen, will put an end to the two-man rule that has besieged the nation for over 15 years. It will see the rise of new dawn, signaling the rebirth of Fiji as a land of hope and opportunity. And as both Fiji and the South Pacific's oldest political party, born in 1963 under the mango tree in Vaileka Reki Reki, at the foot of the legendary Nakau Vandra range, you, the NFP will restore equality, dignity, justice, and freedom for all our people. And today, we are initiating a significant step of being in a government that will not lose its core objective of being compassionate and empathizing at all times with every single Fijian. This announcement, my friends, is the second step towards giving Fiji a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. The first step was the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding four months ago on 8th of April with the People's Alliance Party and its leader, Mr. Sitiveni Rambuka. The principles of the Memorandum of Understanding define what a post-election government or coalition government of the People's Alliance and the National Federation Party will do. First, we will ease the burden of cost of living. Second, we will vastly improve delivery of public health and medical care, which is in a state of shambles. Never in the history of this country we've had such bad health services in the country. Number three, we'll raise the quality of education. Number four, we'll revive the sugar industry and the agriculture sector. Number five, we'll create decent and meaningful paying jobs, especially for our new graduates and our young people. Number six, and very important, we will prevent wastage 
and pilferage of taxpayer funds. Thank you, sir. And we'll do that by eradicating mismanagement and corruption in the country. And the final thing we will do is we will initiate a process where we will wipe out nepotism, cronism in both public service and appointments to boards of strategic organizations and government commercial companies. This will encompass our vision statement that we will be releasing very soon. And as you all know and are aware that it is almost impossible, it is almost impossible to launch a manifesto when the tentacles of draconian electoral and financial management act legislation changed last year against us. And we've said many times before that all these laws, what I consider to be stupid laws, are designed to stifle the opposition. You will recall that during the 2018 elections, we actually released 10 very important policies and we did that 16 months before the election on 29th July 2017. 29th of July 2017, we released 10 important policies and that was 16 months before the election, which attracted all sorts of malicious attacks from the Fiji First government and their supporters. These were especially our plans to reduce cost of living. Cost of living was rising even before the 2018 election. And we said that we were going to zero rate or making vet free basic food and essential items. And we also promised that we will implement a phased in what we then called a minimum living wage of five dollars an hour. You'll also remember that when we announced that we were accused of trying to bankrupt the nation and being anti-business, four years later, four years later, the same Fiji First government, the same Fiji First government, and the same people who went around the country, you know, to put fear amongst our people and our business community and the workers engaged in the dumbest copy and paste job and implemented our list of bed free on essential food items. Of course, you know, they, they didn't include medication, which we said should be included. And they also announced raising the minimum wage to $4 by January next year. And yet the Prime Minister is, is going around the country that the opposition is not providing alternative policies. Here is his government copying and pasting exactly the policies that we put out in 2018. <laughs> but even when they copied and pasted, it has come too late because the cost of living, my friends, has escalated on the face of prices spiraling out of control. So more decisive measures are needed. But this government, as you, we all know now, cannot provide anything apart from what I called one dollar a day or sangamoli a day for six months, totaling about $180 for six months. And the reason why they're doing it, because they have little room to borrow to provide more direct and meaningful help and support to the people like our friends Australia and New Zealand did after the COVID pandemic. So at the end of the current financial year, each and every man, woman and child in our nation will be burdened by a debt level of about $11,000. This is the <coughs> Baini Marama boom and the bulla boom that they talked about. This is the legacy of the Fiji First government 
that will be left behind and we know after they are booted out at the elections, which is likely to be held sooner than later. And we know that this is a government hell-bent on extravagance, paying itself huge salaries despite the reduction of 20% from April 2020. In fact, you know, we, we suggested that. It was the NFP, we suggested that we should all take a pay cut. Privileging the Prime Minister an average of $3,000 per day in overseas travel allowance. Still there. Traveling in dark, tinted, you know, parados. Distributing handouts and freebies in an election year. While legislating a $1 per day as inflation mitigation assistance for the people for six months. Last week, we were inundated with calls, and I'm sure many of you would have got calls as well from welfare recipients, because they all were expecting a payment. But we know what they will do. They will make a dump, dump the entire sum as a one-off payment, as an election ploy, to try and fool the people into thinking that this is what they will get you know, over the next few months or every month if they vote for them. This is their plan. It is not about really helping the people and putting in sustainable policies so that it can continue. This likely will be the modus operandi of a government that has ruled for too long. And my friends, it thinks it is the absolute right to be in power at all costs. This is what they're thinking now. But we know, the people of this country know, and they know, they also know, that their time is up. And they have to digest the truth. No matter what they do, no matter how much they blame the opposition, I am pretty sure that they will be banished into political wilderness after the election. Thank you, so my friend, this is all I want to say about the present and the future beckons. And it is within our grasp. And you, and these um, 33, what I call fearless, brave candidates, you are part of our crusade to actually reset the moral compass to once again rekindle Fiji's image as a beacon of hope. We say again, and I say again, I know many of you, I have interacted with you. These people, I want to say this to the people of Fiji, that these 33 people that we are announcing as proposed candidates today aren't ordinary men and women. No one in our team is. They have stepped forward, ready and willing to save you. And I am very, very proud and honored to present them to you. At this point, of course, everyone is a proposed candidate only because of the formal election process, which is yet to begin in terms of dissolution of parliament, you know, the writs of elections, and of course, uh, the nomination itself. But you should know that they will all be part of this formidable team that NFP is putting together for the next election. The party selection committee, together with the management board and our chair, Ms. Priscilla Singh, with the support of the general secretary, have completed the scrutiny of all the applications. We have a fair assessment and fair knowledge of the strengths we would like to be in the team of the proposed 55 candidates, which will be submitted to the supervisor of elections at the appropriate time of the nomination. We also have a reserve list because the response to our application or our call for 
uh, candidates was overwhelming. In fact, you know, we were very, very pleased with the support, with the interest, and with the kind of people who applied to contest uh, under the banner of the National Federation Party. We are mightily glad uh, that that happened because it actually demonstrates our sincere and genuine commitment towards Fiji. In the next fortnight, we will be announcing another batch of candidates. We hope to complete the formal announcement of all the 55 candidates uh, in the next uh, one or two weeks. And um, it is important that we do that. We don't know uh, when exactly the election is going to be held. The Prime Minister goes to the United States of America and even there, he doesn't know when the election is going to be held. Uh, all he says is it's going to be held this year, within this year. So right now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and all our people watching us live, I want to say that this is now the time to introduce to you our 33 proposed candidates who can serve you honestly and with integrity, both inside and outside of Parliament. And as well as allow yourselves to express your views to these people and be able to freely participate in the governance of Fiji. May God bless Fiji and may God bless the National Federation Party. I want to um, begin by announcing um, the first one because she has to leave for um, Lombasa and she is already um, in a very, very serious campaign mode. Uh, so it is my pleasure to um, announce the name of uh, Mrs. Basundra Kumar. And just briefly, uh, Basundra is a well-known uh, educationist. I know she didn't want me to say that she was the Deputy Secretary for, um, uh, Deputy Permanent Secretary. Uh, she also acted as Permanent Secretary for Education. Thank you. Uh, she served as uh, a school principal in a number of schools. Uh, she's been a prominent trade unionist. I think she was also the Assistant Secretary um, of the Fiji Teachers Union. And uh, currently she's working towards the uplifting of women and children in the informal sector. So I congratulate uh, Basun. The uh, second uh, candidate that I want to uh, announce is Dr. John Futiaki. And um, I've said to John uh, on many occasions that um, it is uh, my good fortune as the leader of the National Federation Party, and indeed it is the fortune good fortune of the National Federation Party uh, to have uh, Dr. Fateaki contest for us. Uh, so, Doc, I congratulate you and I uh, welcome you in the team and look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Third um, candidate, uh, Amitis uh, Jeet. Um, Amitesh. Young man, highly educated, former civil servant. Uh, I think his last job was uh, as a planning officer in the Commissioner Central's office. He's a very successful young entrepreneur, and I'm delighted uh, to have him in the party. Number four, Anurudh Singh. academic and former soldier, 
former police officer, uh, and um, you know the most attractive thing about him is he's actually from Bua, you know. <laughs> So, um, Anurudh, uh, we welcome you, and um, I, I wish to congratulate you uh, for being our proposed candidate. Number five, uh, Arvind Kant uh, from Singatoka, uh, former <laughs> former teacher, and uh, I'm told that he's also uh, a farmer in Singatoka now and a community worker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, uh, Amen Kumar, again from uh, Singatoka. <laughs> Amen is a business executive, but more than a business executive, uh, he's a, a very well-known community worker. Uh, I've, I've uh, heard things about him. Uh, in the Singatoka area, he is, is very well known and he's a great uh, community uh, contributor. Thank you, sir. Next, uh, Bhavi Kapadia. <laughs> Young man from uh, Suva City, uh, very successful uh, businessman uh, and somebody who is keen to save the community, uh, save the people of this country. Next one is Bobby Janendra Bikash, a businessman and community worker. He's from Nandi. Unfortunately, he's not here, but um, he um, sends his uh, good wishes uh, to all of you, uh, fellow proposed candidates. Uh, he's a businessman and a uh, very, very successful uh, community worker uh, in Nandi. Next, Chin Sami. From Reki Reki. You, you can make out that Chinsamu, uh, Chinsami is a former police officer, you know? <laughs> and he's also a very successful farmer in uh, Reki Reki now. <laughs> Sorry, Tabua. Tabua. Close to Reki Reki. <laughs> Uh, next one is um, our Vice President, um, well-known personality from Ba, uh, businessman, Devendra uh, Maidu. Uh, the man is, is, is a, is a well-known um, uh, community worker. He's the president of the uh, Ba branch of the TISI Sangam. Thank you, sir. Uh, and I've always been uh, very proud to have the van in the party uh, when it comes to things in bar. Uh, it's, it's always him uh, as the leader. And uh, we, we are very, very pleased that the van has uh, again agreed uh, to contest uh, the election in 2022. Uh, next is Desmond Benz Sangetu. In fact, uh, Desmond is a party stalwart. Um, he's a long time NFP and very, very successful uh, city councillor in Lotoka. And um, he has uh, served the community uh, continuously, uh, continues to take interest, and he's eager to uh, save the people. In fact, you know, he's providing leadership to some of our younger candidates uh, in Lotoka. And I want to thank Desmond for doing that, and we welcome you again. Uh, Felix Parker. <laughs> Felix um, is, uh, again, you know, a well-known uh, community worker. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, he works with uh, young people, youth, uh, and uh, we've had a number of conversations with Felix about uh, his uh, vision and his, uh, his um, uh, you know, uh, attempt 
to save the community and we are delighted that he uh, has uh, joined the National Federation Party to be a candidate. <laughs> Next one is a well-known um, uh, former member of parliament, uh, former minister, a very successful businessman and a <laughs> farmer from Rekireki, Mr. George Shuraj. And uh, again, you know, we are delighted to uh, have him uh, in the party and to have him as a candidate uh, in the election. <laughs> Thank you, George. <laughs> Next one is uh, Hiroshi Taniguchi. Last time when uh, Hiroshi was here, when we asked him to uh, introduce himself, he said, I'm from Japan. <laughs> uh, he is actually from Japan. He is now a Fiji citizen. Um, he's a Fijian, uh, and he's a very successful uh, businessman. Uh, he runs uh, this free bed uh, you know, teaching college. And uh, Hiroshi uh, has a lot of passion uh, that I have uh, seen knowing him just a uh, few months now uh, to save our people, and we are delighted to uh, have Hiroshi as our candidate. Thank you. Next, James Kumar from Ba, a, a very successful business executive, community worker, religious worker. Uh, I'm told that he's a very good uh, pracharak as well. And so, um, Jent, you know, we are very pleased to uh, have you and welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. You. Next is uh, Josefa Tauleka. <laughs> Josefa comes from the province of uh, Namosi. He is. Uh, he is a very well-known uh, community worker. He is very well grounded uh, within the community, within the villages. Uh, he has a keen passion to save those communities. And uh, this is the kind of people we also need uh, in the parliament, in the party, to save our people. So, uh, Josefa, thank you very much. And <laughs> Kazim Muhammad is the next one from Lotoka. Kazim, uh, a very young and promising uh, uh, young man, uh, keen to save the community. He's a business executive, but before that, you know, he uh, worked for the uh, uh, customs uh, department, uh, Kazim. And um, he, uh, he, he's all geared up to, to um, save the people of Lotoka and indeed our country. Thank you, Kazim. Next is another brave uh, and courageous uh, woman, uh, Kirti Patel. Um, from Lotoka. Kirti um, is an educationist, a former librarian. And many of you would uh, have read some of her letters. She's an avid uh, letter writer. And uh, she has a very, very good grasp of uh, issues uh, ranging from education to health to economics. And she writes uh, very well. She's got a passion to save the people. And we're delighted to have uh, Kirti Patel uh, join our party as a candidate. Thank you, Kirti. The next one we are announcing today is our Vice President, um, our current Member of Parliament, Honorable uh, Lenora Geregere Tambua. Uh, Honorable Geregere Tambua is in Kandabu right now, uh, and she um, sends her apologies, but uh, sends her best wishes to all of you. Next is Petro Saunimvalu. Also uh, from Namosi, so you can see we've got two people from Namosi. 
and uh, Petro um, again uh, has uh, a lot of passion to save the community. He's, uh, he's well grounded in the uh, community. He's, he's also got a passion for um, working towards you know, improving our environment. Uh, and, and so we, we're delighted to uh, have him as well. Uh, next is Peter Tuimbau from Bar. <laughs> and uh, Peter actually excites me as a, as a person who not only has the experience of working with people, uh, not only... But when I listened to him in a meeting in Bar recently, uh, I was actually very, very impressed and amazed at, the, the, at his ability to marshal ideas, uh, to look at some of the contemporary issues um, in Bar, and he was able to distill that and put it into a perspective where I thought, um, and, and it sort of increases my belief uh, in, in the ability of our leaders at the community level to actually do things. And this is one of the things that this government has ignored uh, and sidelined is to, is to work with our community leaders and people out there you know, who have wealth of knowledge and wisdom. So uh, Peter, I know we are delighted to have you. <laughs> Next, uh, Prakash Chand Mudliyar. Uh, from uh, Reki Reki. Prakash uh, is a young man, uh, as you can see. Um, <laughs> he is, he is uh, a, a very strong um, uh, entrepreneur, a young entrepreneur, but also a very strong uh, community worker, grounded in, in his own community and people in Reki Reki. In fact, uh, when I met his wife, uh, I thought, uh, you know, for a while that all the energy was coming uh, from her to him, you know, <laughs> because, because she was very excited and she was ready to uh, work with him and, and save the community. So, uh, Prakash, you know, we, we are delighted and please uh, thank your wife for being uh, such a strong supporter uh, for you uh, in the election. Next one is um, a, a very old friend of mine and a, a very well-known personality, uh, Mr. Rajendra Ragulu. Uh, <laughs> former teacher, uh, currently sugarcane grower, farmer, community worker, organizer, and leader. Uh, I've always found uh, Ragulu to be somebody who uh, you know, he's like a mentor to, to so many people that I've met in Tavua who know him. And uh, it's great to have somebody with that kind of experience uh, joining us and ready to serve us in parliament and in government. Thank you. <laughs> the next one I'm delighted to announce is uh, Ratu Yasava Nambuta. Ratu is a, is a very experienced, um, uh, I won't call him a, a road engineer, uh, but he knows uh, a lot about infrastructure development. Uh, he is an ex-PWD uh, um, worker, uh, manager. Uh, he was currently, uh, before he decided to resign and join the National Federation Party, he was working for a road you know, construction company uh, in a senior position uh, and so um, uh, we, we are very very delighted to have you uh, Ratu uh, with us uh, and uh, I've uh, seen him um, in the community a very respected um, a man uh, you know in, in terms of uh, his contribution uh, in Nandi area. Shales Kumar is the next one Another young man, ready to leave his job and save uh, the community and contest uh, the election. A former teacher, he's a brilliant speaker both in English and Hindi and I've uh, experienced uh, him in, in meetings and um, 
He is from Narere Nasinu, and uh, we are delighted to uh, have uh, Salesh in the team. The next uh, gentleman also excites me is uh, Mr. Satish Prasad. I think some people would be would be um, would not be very very happy to see him join the National Federation Party, uh, but but he is um, a great uh, individual, uh, great family man, uh, great community worker uh, from Nasori. Uh, I I had the um, opportunity to um, go with him in few meetings. And I was very, very excited by the respect and the prospect uh, that people actually see in Satish uh, on the ground. Uh, and I'm quite delighted that uh, we've been able to uh, select him and he's agreed to uh, join us. Thank you, Satish. <laughs> Satya Sandil is the next one. Um, former Divisional Education Officer Northern, uh, former principal, uh, former FNU staff, uh, very successful farmer from Tavuni. Um, I managed to um, visit uh, his uh, village or settlement uh, during the last election. And uh, I then realized you know, how rich he was in terms of all the Yangona plants he had in Tavuni. You know? <laughs> Great, uh, great individual to um, have, and I, I, I wish you well. And thank you again for uh, contesting for us, uh, Satya. Thank you. And the biggest um, excitement for me um, is the next announcement, and that's the General Secretary, Ms. Kenny Nambo. I, I don't have to say much, uh, but again, uh, I, have to, I have to say uh, that it is um, a good fortune uh, for the National Federation Party. Um, in fact, Saini is, is the first woman to hold the prestigious position and the first E2K woman to hold most important position, I, I, I say, in the party, and that's the position of the General Secretary. And I always tell her that, that uh, she is the future of the party, you know, because the General Secretary of the party is, is the most powerful person. And I am, I am always very excited at the intellectual capacity uh, that Saini has, uh, the ability to write. I'm sure many of you uh, have uh, read her articles, and um, she um, uh, she is she is um, somebody that I can rely on uh, to give me you know good advice, uh, and we are so excited uh, that Saini uh, will be contesting the election, uh, and I'm pretty sure that she will be in parliament and in being government. Not the same. Next is uh, Mr. Sevedi Tora. In fact, I, I said to him once, I said, um, you, you're a bit like uh, Mr. Krishna Dutt. Uh, because um, he has an uncanny uh, style uh, where you know, he would be able to uh, talk to the people not only uh, in English, but in both, very fluent Hindi and uh, it okay. So, uh, Sivedi is, is a great um, um, person to have in the party. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you, Sivedi, for um, uh, agreeing to contest. Uh, we actually wanted you to contest the last election, but you escaped, you know. Uh, Sivedi is a, is a well-known um, uh, executive, business executive. He held a very senior position in the uh, Post and Telecom, uh, Post Fiji later on. And um, he's, he's somebody that um, I, uh, I, I believe, you know, has 
a lot of potential, a lot to offer to this uh, party and to the country. Uh, he's from Tabua. And uh, I think uh, he's already uh, got enough votes uh, to uh, be in parliament, but I've asked him to get another 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Sudeji. Next is Shu Deal. Um, In fact, um, uh, what should I say? I think, uh, again, I, I should say that the party is really fortunate. Um, uh, Xu is a well-known personality. In, in fact, if some of, you, some of you probably know, but those who don't know, uh, he is what we call in Hindi a bhajan samrat, you know, the king of bhajan uh, uh, in, in the country. And, um, uh, recently, I was in Narere, and we uh, were at a bhajan uh, competition. And uh, when I got there, you know, I, I saw people, um, you know, uh, coming to him, and uh, they introduced him at the bhajan samrat uh, of Fiji. And um, he's a great um, uh, social worker, community worker. Uh, he's been a uh, former uh, vice principal of a uh, secondary school. A former successful teacher uh, and uh, a, a also a very successful businessman now. Thank you, sir. And he is from the um, province of Dakan Robe and from Sab Sabu. Hidden Paradise. Uh, Hidden Paradise. <laughs> and um, we are so excited to have Shudhi Al Azhar here. Uh, next one is uh, Vijay Nair. Dr. Vijay Nair. Um, I was I was asking uh, Kamal uh, how to uh, what to say about Dr. Vijay Nair when I am going to introduce him. Uh, you know uh, Kamal's usual response. You know uh, he said uh, why don't you just introduce him as, as a as a well known pujari in the country. You know. <laughs> But uh, Dr. Vijay Nair is, uh, is a well-known um, uh, business uh, executive. Uh, he is an ex expert in uh, the insurance industry in the country. But more importantly, I have known him for so many years, uh, and I am amazed uh, at the, the amount of passion, amount of energy that he has to save the community. He's, he's, uh, He's been uh, the pillar behind uh, the um, uh, Rishikul uh, Sanatan Mahasabha. You know, he, he runs uh, two very successful uh, schools, Rishikul Sanatan College, uh, the, um, the pride of Nasinu, uh, the Nasinu um, Rishikul Primary School. Uh, and uh, he's somebody uh, who's well known around uh, not only in Suba, but also, uh, you know, throughout the country. So, Dr. Nair, uh, welcome, and I'm, I'm so delighted to have you. <laughs> and if you need some spiritual advice, please call him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Next one is uh, Vijendra Kumar. Vijayan is a former uh, senior customs uh, um, employee. I think, uh, Vijayan, you held the position of manager, national manager, national manager uh, which is a very, very senior position in the now FRCS. Uh, Vijayan um, is from Nandi. Uh, he is uh, now also a successful community worker, businessman, uh, and uh, we are so delighted. Uh, I, when, when I first met him and when I was able to convince him to join us, um, I was so delighted that he did. In fact, you know, like um, Prakash, uh, I actually am very, very delighted with the way his wife is giving him the support. In fact, you know, I, I think that she has more energy than him. <laughs> and, and, and every time I, I've been to uh, the meeting in Nandi, you know, 
she is there, she is, she is in front of him, you know, she has got the passion. So, uh, Vijayan, I want to ask you especially uh, to please, you know, take my best wishes to Mrs. Kumar and say that how delighted uh, I am, you know, for her support uh, that she is giving you and to the party. Thank you. One. Yeah, <laughs> that's half the battle one, you know, that, that's true. And the last um, of the 33 that we are announcing today is uh, Vinay Vikashni Lata. <laughs> Vinay is actually uh, originally from uh, Lambasa, uh, but she's, she lives in Suba. She's uh, a uh, well-known uh, uh, pandita. Uh, community worker and um, uh, she is being ably supported by uh, I've been talking about wife supporting the husband here is a very strong husband uh, who, um, who, who is supporting Vinay and, and I'm quite delighted uh, that she has decided to join us so um, once again um, uh, my friends ladies and gentlemen uh, I want to congratulate all our proposed candidates. Uh, I, as I said at the beginning, uh, I'm so delighted at the, the uh, caliber, uh, the, um, the caliber of our candidates and the passion that I have seen uh, in all of you. And I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Priscilla. Uh, who chaired the selection committee. Uh, Priscilla is not um, an ordinary uh, woman. Yes, uh, that's true. She is uh, a party stalwart. She is a brave uh, woman. She stands up for women in this country. Uh, she stands up for uh, all the good things that we talk about, <laughs> such as democracy, human rights, media freedom, transparency, <laughs> accountability, good governance. And, and to have, you know, uh, two strong women you know, uh, you know, around me at, th at this point in time uh, is, is just so exciting. And I want to thank Priscilla for all the work she did. I, I want to thank um, our party stalwarts. Um, it's, it's always uh, an honor uh, to have them around, to uh, have easy access, accessibility to their experience and wisdom. And I want to acknowledge uh, Chacha Jaginder Singh. Uh, uh, he's, uh, he's not only former NFP president, but uh, is a man who, with absolute integrity, and who uh, comes to the office every day. Uh, we have our former member of parliament, uh, James Raman, uh, who is also the uh, member of the selection committee. And we have uh, uh, Mr. Maharaj, um, uh, a well-known um, uh, personality from Nabua, uh, former, you know, successful uh, head teacher. Uh, and, um, you know, it, it's so exciting uh, to talk to him. Uh, he was here the other day. He actually drives uh, from Nabua to, to come and see us here. Uh, and and he's, uh, he's always ready. Um, in fact, in the last election, I thought he had more energy than the candidate that we had in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and so I'm, I'm, I'm always delighted to, and I want to thank you, Mr. Maharaj, for, for all your support and, and, and readily you know, imparting your wisdom and experience to our candidates and to all of us. Uh, I want to thank the uh, members of the media. Uh, thank you for um, being here. Uh, you are an important um, uh, part of our journey to uh, get uh, to getting rid of the two-man rule in this country. So thank you very much, and all uh, all our supporters and friends um, uh, who are here. I can see my my brother Anil Kumar. Um, was just retired as a principal, you know. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you.